Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing an onboarding screen for our website. All right, let me show you how it works. We can see that we have this button over here called Show Demo. And if I click on that, we have this pop-up displayed over here. So this is the onboarding screen. And this is basically a way for the user to understand how the website works. So here we can see we have some content displayed over here. We have the heading and we have some text over here. And we also have this image over here. And uh, then we have this next button over here. And if I click on that, we go to the next step. And here on the top, we can see that we have the progress bar. So this is the second step and we have one more step to go. So if I click on the next button, we go to the next step. And when we are in the last step, we have this text change to finish. And if I click on finish, it goes away. And uh, that is the onboarding screen of your website. And we also have a skip button. So if I click on this show demo button, and if I go to the next screen, now here we are on the second screen. And if I click on skip, we go back to the website. So this is basically how our onboarding screen is going to work. Now this is especially important for you if you have a website that provides a service or if you have an online tool like loan calculator or color generator or things like that. You can use this onboarding screen to help the user understand how your website works. So let's get started. <laughs> Now this is the first part of this design so in this video we will add the html of this onboarding screen all right so here i have opened up this folder called onboarding screen and i just opened it with vs code and then here we have this folder called images and in that we have these three images which we're going to use in our design so let's start by creating the necessary files so let's click on new file and we'll create an html file i'll just name it index.html let's also create a css file i'll just name it style.css and we'll also create a JavaScript file. Let's name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. So here in VS Code, you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. All right, here in the head tag, I'll just link our CSS file. So I'll just tap link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just tap style.css. And in the body, I'll just link the JavaScript file. So I'll just tap script, colon src and press tab. And here in the src, I'll just tap main.js. Right now, let's start with the markup of our design. First of all, let's create this button over here. So for the button, I'll just create a button and we'll give it a class of onboarding button. And here, I'll just tap show demo. All right, let's open this in the browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see we have the button displayed over here. All right, now let's create the overlay. So here we can see in our original design, if I click on this show demo button, we have this dark overlay over this web page. And on top of that, we have this onboarding screen. And if I click on skip, we can see that the overlay is hidden. So let's create a division for that. I'll just create a division with the class of onboarding overlay. Right now let's start with the actual content of the onboarding screen. So let's create a division with the class of onboarding container. And here I'll just create a division with the class of content for all the content. And uh, the first thing we will have is the skip button. So let's create an anchor tag. And uh, here I'll just type skip. And uh, I'll also give it a class. So let's give it a class of skip BTN. All right now the next thing we will do is we'll create these dots over here. So for that let's create a division with the class of dots. And in that we'll create divisions with the class of dot for each of the dot. So I'll just duplicate this two more times. And for the first dot we will add a class called active so that it is uh, highlighted over here. All right now let's create a division with the class of steps. And uh, in that we will have all the steps. So this is the first step. So for each of the step, we will have a division with the class of step. So let's create a division with the class of step. And the first thing we need to have over here is this image. So let's create a division with the class of image. And here I'll just add the image. So if you go back to our file browser, here in the images folder, we have these three SVG images. So let's click on the first image and I'll just copy all of this code. And uh, let's paste it over here inside the image division. 
and I'll just fold this SVG. Alright, after the image, we need to have the heading. So let's create an S3 for that. And here, I'll just tap step one. You can add your own text over here. And then we need to have a paragraph. So let's create a paragraph tag. And I'll just copy this text. And uh, let's paste it over here. Alright, that's it with the first step. So let's copy this step division from here. And let's paste it two more times over here. And we'll just change the heading and the images. So I'll just delete this SVG from here. And uh, let's go back to our images folder. And let's select the second SVG and I'll just copy this code. And let's paste it over here. And uh, then for the heading, we will just type step 2. And uh, let's delete the third SVG. And let's go back to our images folder. Let's select the third SVG from here. And let's copy this code. And let's paste it over here. Now the last thing we need to do over here in this HTML is to add the next button. So we will add that outside the steps division. So this is the step division. And before that we have the steps division. So let's go outside to divs. And here let's create the next button. So let's create a button and uh, let's give it a class of next PTN. And uh, here I'll just type next. All right now let's go to our design and uh, we can see that all the elements are displayed over here. We have the show demo button, we have the skip button, we have the images, the heading, the text. And we also have the next button. So that's basically it with the HTML of the onboarding screen. Now in the next video we will add the CSS and make it look like this. And uh, then in the next video, we will add some JavaScript and add all the functionality for this onboarding screen. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.